What is meant by coming to Jesus? Much is said of coming to Jesus, but how can I come? He is in heaven, and how can I go there to speak to him? I am told he is also everywhere, but I cannot see him, and how can I go to him? If he were but on earth as he once was, there is no trouble I could not take. I would sell all I possess to pay for my journey. I would travel hundreds of miles. No difficulties should daunt me. I would set off at once. I would go to him and push my way through the crowd, as the sick used to do in order to be healed. I would fall down before him and lay hold of his garment or embrace his feet. And I would say, Lord Jesus, save me. I came not to be healed of blindness or lameness or leprosy, but of sin. My heart is diseased with iniquity. I am in danger of God's wrath and of eternal damnation. Lord, save me, I perish. But alas, Jesus is no longer among us, and I cannot understand what is meant by coming to him. Dear listener, do the, all this in thine heart, and then you will come to Jesus. What do you think would be the advantage of going to him and falling before him and holding his garment and speaking to him as the sick and the lame used to do? Would it not be to let him know your wants? These he knows already. Without all this trouble, you can make him understand that you wish him to save you. Think of him. Let your heart feel respecting him. And let your cries ascend to him, just as if you saw him. Be as earnest as if there was a crowd round him which you wish to push through. Call to him as that blind man did, who though he saw him not, cried out, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. You are better off than they who lived when he dwelt on earth. They had often to journey far. They sometimes could not get near him for the press of people. But you may have him as much to yourself as if there were no other sinner that needed him. He is always near and within call. And though you cannot see him, he sees you, knows all you feel, and hears all you say. Coming to Jesus is the desire of the heart after him. It is to feel our sin and misery, to believe that he is able and willing to pardon, comfort, and save us, to ask him to help us, and to trust in him as our friend to have just the same feelings and desires as if you were visibly present, and we came and implored him to bless us, is to come to him. Though we do not see his face nor hear his voice, repenting sinner, your very desire for pardon, your prayer, Jesus save me, this is coming to him.